In today's video, we're going to use this chainsaw to save our favorite tree on the farm. Hey guys, so uh, as you can see, I'm, I'm under one of our favorite trees on the entire property. It's this massive tree that's made up of, I don't know, four or five separate trees. But the problem is, is I think it's getting slowly choked out by all the trees underneath it. Um, this property has been really like properly managed when it comes to the woods and having all these little small trees can be detrimental to such a large like legacy tree like this. Today what we're going to do is we're going to work on getting rid of all the small brush and trees um, around this tree gone. So uh, let's get the chainsaw ready and get cutting. So I think the plan here is we're going to try and get about how, how tall it is um, out. We're gonna go, so we're probably gonna start right around here and just start cutting back. So let me place you down here. right here looks like it wants to fall right on you so I'm gonna move you <laughs> so that doesn't happen for safekeeping you know and look the, the sky's come out blue So I wanted to bring in here to show you what it looks like uh, from in here. It's a lot more open, as you can tell, there's a lot of trees down. Um, now, I don't, uh, there's some filthy rumors going on right now that says that I hit the tree I'm trying to save four or five times. There's no proof of that, okay? <laughs> uh, so we hit it a couple of times, but this side's all dead. So, you know, we're trimming it, really. We're naturally trimming it. Um, I would like to come through and keep pushing the trees kind of like this way so they're not all on the road. Uh, now keep in mind, right now I can get my truck out of the property still, so it looks like my driveway is blocked. And it is, but I can drive on the grass to get out if there was an emergency or whatever, so it's not a big deal if something happens before I have a chance to clean it up. So, whew. It's like uh, that, that fall temperature in Canada where it's cool but warm at the same time. So it's very hard to get your layers right. Uh, right now I have too much on, but if I take it off, I'm sweaty, I'll get too cold. So. But look at this tree, isn't it gorgeous? It's at least four, maybe five, six trees all together. Pretty beautiful. Okay, girl. Uh, okay, I mean, this whole backside's dead, so I don't think it's that big of a deal. But oh. <laughs> that thing just twisted. That's what I was afraid it was gonna do. Either way, we have lots of firewood now, which is great. And if you haven't seen it yet. You should check out Katrina's hundred-day firewood splitting challenge. Okay, let's cut some more. So this is where we're at. Um, I, I, for whatever reason, always forget that birch are there. I just don't see them, I guess. Uh, so I brought a come along, see if we can get this guy uh, 
hauled off and down. I'm gonna have to move it at least, at least 15 feet, I'm sure. So the goal here is to grab, take the strap and the come along, it's attached to the tree and pull him off to the side a little bit and then we can continue pulling. I'm getting ready to jump if it like goes, you know? Now, I feel safe now. Like now it's just a pull. This guy might fall, but he's not that heavy. You're not gonna fall, right? Okay. Wow, okay, so as you saw, we got the tree down. Sorry for the sunlight there, but it's all the way down there. And this is how much room I had left. <laughs> so if it didn't go, it's gonna have to find a new anchor point, but they all dropped. I think it's time for lunch. Katrina's out with Gray. So let's grab our saw and we'll go have some lunch. But look how much more open it is already. So the last you saw me, uh, we were in there, in there, uh, moving that big boy tree that <laughs> didn't go my way, uh, which is fine. Uh, that come along really helped. It made it like significantly effort wise, like, I don't know, two out of 10, three out of 10. The hardest part was walking up to grab it. So that's awesome. Uh, had my lunch, which is fantastic. And uh, this left side is all kind of finished. So I want to focus on the right side now, get that done, and then we'll clear up the road, um, go from there. So let's, uh, let's get cutting again. Uh, it's really nice. I can already see a lot more sunlight getting in there. I mean, you can't now because <laughs> the sun's going down, but, uh, it's going to be great. Maybe, uh, maybe it'll be more apparent soon.
So I made a little bit of a mess. <laughs> uh, I wasn't sure, but I'm gonna drop this tree. I'm gonna drop this guy over here. If you can see what I'm pointing at. Um, seems in the way. And we wanna clear all this anyways. We want sun in, we wanna, this is very flat over here. So I'm thinking about another, um, think, thinking about another food plot there. So we don't want the shade anyways. But as you see back here, let me come on this way. So as you see, uh, just kind of, just behind there's some more trees, but problem is I don't want to bring you guys in too close and have it, uh, you know, fall on you. So I think I'm gonna bring you up a little bit closer so you can see some of the action rather than like the grand scheme of things. And then I'll bring you back for a reveal after we're finished cutting the rest. Okay, so I mean famous last words, right? I always say this, but I think we're done dropping trees. I've decided to keep the tall what I was saying we're gonna take down. We're gonna leave it for today. I have enough to clean up. I wanna make sure it's nice and tidy before sundown and it gets dark super early now that it's fall. So we're gonna take a quick break. Um, I am thirsty and uh, then we'll be back to clean this up and kind of big clean up, you know, firewood, maybe one pile, brush other, if we can do that. If not, just get it off the road. So. Hi, uh, we're back. Well, I'm back. Uh, she's here, I guess. <laughs> Say it with such attitude. Well, you weren't here earlier. So I, don't know. <laughs> <laughs> just, I don't know. Just, uh, good. Uh, she's going to snack. Uh, Trina just finished work and uh, she saved the day. Uh, and yeah. She's gonna save my day too because we have a whole bunch of trees that way that you cannot see uh, and a handful of trees this way that are in the way of the driveway so we're gonna try and clean this up uh, we have about an hour and 10 minutes until sunset so let's do this in less than an hour that way we can get up and do the chickens uh, before it gets dark as well so we have a bunch to do before bedtime <laughs> and uh nope <clears throat> No, it right was there. a green one. Okay. It was a green one. No one likes those except for everyone. Uh, so we're going to get cleaning. I'm not sure what she's going to do. I'm going to clean. Okay, she I'm going to be a hero. She's gonna be my I will be your hero. Boy for Katrina 2024. Brad and Katrina working side by side. Cutting down the trees with a smile so wide. Chainsaws humming, it's our sunny day. Branches falling, clearing all the way. Okay, fantastic. This side's finished. Now for the bigger side. Branches in a pile, large to stack. They don't mind the work, no looking back. Hey, hey, it's a beautiful scene. Brad and Katrina keeping their driveway clean. Hand in hand, they make a perfect team. Sweeping away like a dream. Birds singing loud as they take a break. Sharing a drink. So I wanted to show everybody really quick. There's some trees that still need to be processed. Chipping, firewood, firewood, chipping, <laughs> more firewood, but the driveway is now clear. Look how much room this tree has now. Look at that, all the way around. We dropped all these trees. Oh, 
all that room, all that space back there. Wow, so there you have it. That's uh, me trying to save this tree with a chainsaw. Uh, I did hit it maybe once or twice, but um, we took down some dead trees that, or limbs that needed to be taken down anyways. So I think overall to win, we got a ton of firewood. There's even more in there I need to grab, but that's a whole different video. Let's not get into that today. But thank you for watching. If you haven't already, please you know, subscribe and uh, give us a thumbs up. Thanks guys, bye.